So for the ninth day, we began by going to an, a site of Etruscan tombs. Um, there's a picture in a previous video of one type of Etruscan tomb. You'll see like two or three different types at this site. Um, I love Etruscan stuff. I think I like it more than kind of Roman and that might possibly be because we know a good deal about the Roman world whereas the Etruscans there's not really a lot of information. Um, a lot of the stuff they built um, didn't really last. Um, like their tombs, I mean the stone stuff is still there but a lot of their decorations and a lot of their statuary stuff was terracotta and was, you know, destroyed. So there's not a lot that we know about them, and I guess that just makes it more fascinating to me. Um, and it was an entertaining day. Um, to see all of the entertaining randomness that made that site so much fun, uh, you do have to go to Haley's channel. I kind of have more random history stuff. Haley has all of the shenanigans. And I have to say that day was incredibly entertaining. And if you're going to go look at a site that's like a cemetery where they have really old tombs, the best way to do it is to, to do what we did and have like a trading places kind of deal. It was just so fun. Go to Haley's channel. Check that out. It's so entertaining. I was dying laughing a few times. It's good shenanigans going on. Um, after the Etruscan tomb site, we went to Ostia, which was a port city of Rome. Um, and I'm not sure how much video is actually there. I know we, I have, um, video of an apartment and like a food place, but I don't think there's a whole lot. So we'll put some pictures in. Um, it's, it's a Roman town. There's some temples, some other random stuff. Uh, there's a synagogue, so I'll put in a picture of that. Um, oh, that's my favorite lecture is in this video. We talk about Roman toilets. And I know that seems weird and probably gross, and it is a little bit gross, but it's so entertaining to me that I thought you needed to know. So wait for that. <laughs> Uh, it's my favorite lecture. <laughs> okay, pay attention. Uh, right, okay. After, after Ostia and the bathrooms, uh, we went to the American Military Cemetery um, for World War II, and and then everything got really. It was a more sober mood. Um, so I have video there. You'll get to see that. Um, and after that, it was just dinner. And we went to McDonald's right across the street from the cemetery. And then, because we're us, we decided to go into the grocery store right across the street from McDonald's. So there's no video of that, though. Uh, we d oh, that's right. Once we got back to the hotel, we did go on the metro over to the Spanish Steps. But pictures, I don't think they turned out very well. I might put one or two, and I didn't get video for that. So we'll just have to do with whatever pictures I put up. Sorry. Okay, here's the video. At Etruscan tombs outside of Rome. It's probably one more entertaining days. Um, down here is the uh, tomb with reliefs on it and stuff. It's all really nice. <sighs> but Etruscan tombs kind of vary. You got like smallish round ones. You got like giant one. The giant one has like three different tombs in it. And then other ones that are just kind of like cut into the wall. I'll show you when I get to one or cut into the ground. 
Look at mine, what? <laughs> I'm getting there. It's coming up. <laughs> so the Etruscans were the dominant people in like is it northwest of Rome before the Romans took over. So kind of cut just into there. Those are more roundish ones. And then later the older ones are kind of cut into the the round stuff. <sighs> and um later ones looked like uh, homes, like wooden homes, and we saw one of those earlier. Alright, this one's the tomb of the Cornice, and it's a really big round one. Gotta get stairs up. The big ones are better decorated, there's more stuff in it. The smaller ones cut into the wall are just like two slabs, there's one on each side and then one at the back, so there's three slabs in it. But these ones, the big ones, they have slabs here and over there. There's that's dark though. And then in here. And this one's my favorite. Because, see, it's meant to look like a house. So we got like doorways and shelving. And then we got chairs. And then the slabs that people would stay on. And this is my favorite because in here, right here, they found a Happy couples, what they call them. There's a man and his wife, they're reclining. They're all smiling and happy, and I like that, so. This is my favorite. Uh, and so now you know what the big ones look like. I'm gonna go see if I can find a small one. Some that are round, like these ones, the round ones. And then there's some built into just the rock wall. And they're a little bit bigger, like the round ones. And see, they kind of go all the way down. Um, I don't know if you can see very much. There's some rooms down in there. You can't really see it. Um, but so square ones, round ones. The ones look like houses that we saw earlier in the trip. Um, and the ones just kind of cut into the wall. But they'd have just the three slabs. So I'm going to keep going. And hey, there's an entrance. It's going down. Yeah, townhouses, condos, townhouses. These ones up here have some rock at the opening, so you can see it. See, kind of cool down there. Oh, they went down. Let's go see what they're gonna go look at, huh? Do you see anything? Oh, this one's got one room. Oh, nice chairs. Ooh, there's chairs. chairs. I do like chairs. Oh, Even chairs down there. Even have a backrest. Oh, oh, hey, oh, that's like a throne. Oh, and the windows. Oh, you can't see it now. Josh. Oh, wait. I need this one. Oh, this one's pretty nice. This is, this is small, though. Yeah, it's small. It's small and cozy, but it's got a chair. Uh, I don't know. I, I know. just got four rooms it's in the It's kind of tiny. Yeah, and a glittery upper ceiling. Yeah. This one. And it glitters. Mm -hmm. And another throne well, chair. Saying, that's Someone left gone. something on the throne chair. It's an offering to me. It's gum. Gum is an offering to me. Okay, well. Oh, it's still got gum. <laughs> <laughs> you watch them eat it because, it you know. <laughs> cool chairs, well, cool chairs. It's peppermint. And we're going to go back out now. No. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones. There's just the three little, two slabs, one in the back. Um, the roof kind of partially came off, but that's what it looks like. And now it's starting to rain. <gasps> so I'm gonna catch up to the rest of the people. <laughs> it's raining, guys. And by raining, I mean it's sprinkling. It was really, it's okay. <gasps> Today has been incredibly entertaining. Uh, this is one of the better days, and not even because the tombs are super cool, which, I mean, I love them. Um, I love them all. But today is, it's especially entertaining. You have to go over to Haley's channel to see all the shenanigans going on today, because <laughs> it should win a prize for, I, for, I don't know what, some kind of shenanigans. It should win a prize, but it's great. And uh, if you ever come looking at sites, like tombs and stuff, 
this is the way to go and, and like find the really good ones and to have fun at a site. That go to Haley's channel, check it out. It's the best way to do. We are at the port of Ostia, so Ostia port, port of Ostia, and it's a city named Ostia. It was a port in the ancient times. Uh, we're on top of like an apartment kind of building. Right across the street is a restaurant. Jordan's got food. He's eating food. Uh, we got everything around us, a bunch of ruins, cool stuff. There's a wall there you can't see because of the sun. More ruins stuff. And I'm going to take you downstairs to the apartment area. Go down the stairs, that was from the rooftop. And through here. And then you go down to the street. To the bathrooms now. Uh, to the ancient bathrooms. Uh, you probably seen some pictures or video already. I don't know. But we're going to go and we're going to have the lecture on the bathrooms. And it's my favorite lecture on these trips because it's amusing and it's so funny. And when we get there, you'll get the lecture too. And you might be grossed out. But it's going to be the funniest thing ever. I love it. It's my favorite. Bathrooms. Okay. Here it is. You're not going to get the demonstration though. It's basically no, I can't go demonstrate. Uh, Roman period toilets have a fairly universal feature. Several universal features. One is that the toilet seats are all made of a slab, usually of marble, with those cutouts. And that's obviously where your hiney goes. Uh, there's a vertical slab and then underneath a hollow space that you don't want to be crawling in or dropping nothing in. <laughs> um, it is assumed, and in some cases that you've got evidence for this, that that can be flushed out with water uh, from time to time. Okay, the, the channels out front are universally appearing and somewhat mysterious, um, or at least they used to be. Um, How you, you kind of assume guys are messy and that was just a way for things to end up on the floor and <laughs> in the channel and you can rinse it out. Uh, however, uh, you might even notice there's a little square box up here which is sort of ominous. The other thing that's sort of weird is that the vertical slab for the toilet seats always has a cut down in the front. Now, uninformed people might assume, well maybe that's to function like a urinal and a guy would stand up to pee, but you didn't come in here to pee. Uh, so why the access in the front? It almost looks like they made the same pieces and they used top pieces for the front and the top, right? Yes. But that's not it because they're universal everywhere. Uh, they always have that hole in the front. So that's just disgusting because you're going to see things fall down in there and stuff. Um, <laughs> what's the deal? All right, I told you when we were at the amphitheater that that um, you've got the hiccups. Can you please say excuse me. <laughs> when we were at the amphitheater, I told you that that gladiators were basically slave prisoner types and didn't really want to do it for the most part and sometimes would find ways to kill themselves and that the uh, writer Seneca tells us that one killed himself by using the sponge on a stick that is used for the most vile of purposes. <laughs> this is hint number one. Hint number two we'll see later on this itinerary unless we're blocked much worse than this. Um, in the uh -oh toilet or the, the thing of the seven sages where one guy is saying use the sponge on the stick and it's clearly a toilet scene. Uh, so now we know that you had a sponge on the end of a stick, you dipped it in the water channel out front and you had access to your bum through the vertical <laughs> hole and could sort of Wash wipe it. <laughs> with the sponge on the stick. 
which Convenient. obviously means that you're dipping it in the same water that everybody else is, and you're probably <laughs> using a communal sponge and a stick stored in that box right there. <laughs> so this is like an ancient pay toilet. Instead of a guy selling you a few squares of paper, no. you pay him something and you get to use a sponge on a stick. So if you walk in and all the sponges, sponges are being occupied, then what? You gotta sit there and wait until somebody's done? I guess. Oh. You make some money. You wait until somebody that's not too gross finishes, I guess. <laughs> I have to tell you, I think of this every time I go and get ice cream at school and have to get the ice cream no. scoop out of the water. That, that, just really, that just really bothers me. I will I mean, never I look at ice the cream the same stuff way again. Water, but, <laughs> but there you go. And then there's Bam. American military uh, base site cemetery. It's the cemetery for, I think, World War II. Uh, I'll have to check that when we get to the gate. But all the way from the back to the front, and all the way from the back to the front. The men returned and buried here, and inside the building there, the monument, um, there are inscribed on the walls from the Navy and the Army, the men that uh, were never found. <sighs> it's a uh, make sure slow down and think. Um, but we all wanted to come here, and I'm glad we did been walking up and down the roads. It's kind of taking it in and looking at all the men that made it home here, but not all the way home. And the ones that never made it home to even one uh, American land, even in another country. So. It's a sober ending. The memorials to World War II. All the guys in the graves are from 1941 to 1945. Um, I'll put a couple pictures in, uh, but it's closing time, so we're we're leaving, and the guys closing up shop. And Sicily and Rome, it says on the thing. Sicily and Rome American Cemetery and Memorial.
we finished our night with some McDonald's for dinner and then we went over to the store and we bought stuff. 